Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to downgrade from OS Beta 4.0 to 3.1.3. I'm not going to go past that to 3.1.2 or any firmware um, below that. If enough people want to see it and leave it in the comments, I'll consider posting that up uh, maybe in the next couple weeks. Um, as far as I know, if you upgraded to 4.0, your baseband changed, so the ability to unlock, I'm pretty sure, is lost. So um, 3.1.3 should be good enough if you're just trying to jailbreak. I don't really see any reason to go past that. Um, first thing you're going to want to do, and I have it pulled up right here, is um, I linked this website in the article. This is where you're going to want to download iRecovery and some LIB USB files. Um, I also put a link up for Windows users, iRecovery, and the files you need should come in one package. Uh, leave it in the comments if that's not the case. Um, I can't test this on a PC because I don't have one. Um, okay, so the first thing you're going to want to go to is you can see these LIB USB files here. There's three of them. One for Tiger, one for Leopard, one for Snow Leopard. Download the one that is for your OS. I have Snow Leopard, so I already downloaded this. Just download it, unzip it, put it in your dock or wherever you can for easy access. Um, these ones actually you can just install right away. Then download iRecovery. Um, actually this isn't the one you're going to want to download. Scroll all the way to the bottom and do this one, the faster iRecovery. You can do either. The difference is with faster iRecovery, it does the prompts for you in Terminal. You don't have to do them yourself. If you would prefer doing them yourself, you can do that. And then it has a click here for the commands for iRecovery. I believe I put them in the article as well. And this is what you're going to type into the command prompt. Um, if you do this way, um, I'll show you really quick. Just open Terminal. I saved. This is the original iRecovery that I had sitting right here. Drag it into Terminal. That's the easiest way. And then um, it routes you to that. So then you can just type in the commands from there instead of having to go CD, user, CD, in my case, Ali Kimmy, then to desktop. Just drag it in there. That works in Mac OS X. Um, so now we are going to go to iTunes. Um, there's going to be portions of this that I'm going to blur out just because it has a serial number and a phone number. So if it gets blurry for a second, um, it'll come back out. So. I'm going to click on my iPhone. Um, now right here where it says restore, um, you should have downloaded iPhone firmware. I put a link in the article where you can get that as well. I have a folder on my desktop called iPhone firmwares. That's where I save all my firmwares at. Um, so what I'm going to do is you're going to alt option, hold that down and click restore. It's going to bring up this window. Um, I've already navigated to my iPhone firmwares folder. Make sure that you're selecting the right one. Um, the 3GS is 2 comma 1, the 3G is 1 comma 2, and the first gen is 1 comma 1. So make sure if you're downloading firmware from that place that I linked you to that you're downloading the right one for the device that you have. So you're going to select that and click choose. It's going to tell you that it's going to erase everything. That's fine. Click restore. And this is going to take a minute, so I'm going to pause the video and then come back once this is done. Um, when this is done, you're going to get an error. That's okay. That's what you're going to get. So um, we'll continue after I get that. All right, and as expected, we now have an error on the screen. Uh, this is the most common one, and I'm almost willing to bet this is what all of you are going to get. Um, it's going to give you whatever your iPhone name is, and yes, Kimmy named her phone Dirk. Um, it's going to tell me that Dirk could not restore because an error occurred, and it's a 1015 error. This is what you're going to get. It's normal. Um, again, might see some blurriness here for a second, but you're just going to click OK and close out iTunes completely. Okay. All right. It's going to tell you that it has an iPhone in recovery mode too. Um, that's normal. Just click OK and close out iTunes completely. Then you're going to come to where you downloaded iRecovery or faster iRecovery. This is where if you did it in terminal, you're going to want to enter those prompts that I showed you and I believe I typed them out in the article too. 
um, you're going to go to iRecovery. I saved it in the doc right here. So I'm going to click on this. And um, it's going to tell you that you need those LIB USB files. If you already installed them, click Continue iRecovery. If you forgot to, go to where you downloaded them and install them. Or if you didn't download them all, click this. It'll route you to that. Um, I'm going to continue because I already did it. This takes a minute. Um, I always just click that. Um, eventually, if we wait a second here, the terminal is going to pop up. And it's going to do some weird stuff. I don't really know why my computer is beeping right now. Why are you beeping at me? Let's try that again. Might have been because earlier in the tutorial I had the iRecovery open and it might have been trying to find the files in there. There it goes. It's going to do it for you. Anything that you would have entered manually, it's just going to do it itself. There it goes. My phone just rebooted. And we'll wait for that Apple logo to go away. And while it's doing that, um, if for some reason this does not work for you and it's stuck in DFU mode, which means that you're getting the Connect to iTunes logo, if it worked right, like mine just did, um, you should get the slide for emergency. And once you get that, you should be able to open iTunes and sync like normal. It should just show you that your iPhone's plugged in, your serial, your phone number waiting for activation. Um, just like when you pull an iPhone out of the box after you get past that Connect to iTunes screen. If you are stuck on the Connect to iTunes screen, um, there's a workaround I found for that. Um, download Black Rain from B-L-A-C-K-R-A-1-N.com. There's a Mac and a PC version. Download that. Install it. Um, you're going to see a button here, make it rain. I'm not going to push it because my phone was fine. But if you do still have that connect to iTunes screen, um, not the slide to emergency, that's what you want. If you have the slide to emergency, go into iTunes, sync your stuff like normal, you're done. But if you still have that other bad screen, click make it rain. Um, your screen is going to go on your iPhone, it's going to go black but not off. It's just going to dim. Give it about 20 seconds, close this out completely. And then what you're going to want to do is um, unplug your phone completely. Hold down, do a hard reboot. Hold down your home and your power button until it cycles and you see the Apple logo. And then once that pops up, you should be done and you should have the slide for emergency. Um, for some reason, Black Rain kicks it out of uh, DFU mode. Um, not quite sure why, but it does. Um, I figured that out after my phone was stuck in a loop for about two hours. Um, and then if you want to jailbreak 3.1.3, uh, Black Rain will not jailbreak it, but it'll get it out of DFU. Then go and launch Spirit and go ahead and jailbreak. We have a tutorial up on that as well. Um, if you have any issues, concerns, um, problems, leave them in the comments or in the forum, and we'll try to get to them as quick as we can. Thanks, guys.